be afraid and do it anyways. Like be scared and do it anyways. Like um, there, I don't think there'll be ever a time where you're fully ready or where you're not going to be not scared. Like cry, be anxious and do it anyways. Meaning um, take the shot, you're worth it. And there is pain and difficulty in staying the same, meaning ignoring that your job sucks or ignoring that you're friends or boyfriend might not be treating you the best or that, you know, you just want something different. There's pain in that. And then there's also pain and difficulty in um, being scared and doing it anyways. And I'm telling you, choose, be scared and do it anyways, because I think that's more worthwhile. And um, how else are you going to find confidence and trust in yourself if not for the challenges, right? Like it's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be difficult, but the difficulty and pain of staying the same, you don't get, you know, confidence or self-trust. There is no gain in that. Um, so both, both paths are difficult, but I'm like, choose the one that's worthwhile. So that's me talking to me. Cause I'm like, I'm really scared all the time. Like, cause when I transitioned to coaching, I had to get like two business coaches to really, I had so much imposter syndrome. I was like, oh my God, no one's going to hire me. Who am I to do this? Like, I don't know anything about mental health. Like there's therapists and psychologists and like other people out there that are so much better than me. And I was like, no one's going to hire me. And just getting to coach and finally um, be this version of myself was a lot of healing. So um, be scared and do it anyways. I was so scared that no one was going to hire me um, when my website went up and I did it anyways. Yeah. And now we're here. <laughs>